Hello, my name is Rampant Mystic and welcome back to No Man's Sky. And as you can see, we are back here as promised. It has been a couple of hours, well, at least six since my last recording. And let's check out the supply depot. Alrighty, so it is full. I did sort of expect this, to be in all honesty. Uh, they are a thousand per hour. So, wow, okay. So, an hour and 14 minutes and the storage will be filled. Now, I can, of course, build an extra one. And, I mean, why not? We're already here. They are under your supply depot. It's just metal plating. I just need three more. That's easy enough to get. I mean, I don't even need to, like, go out and buy it. I can just do it like so. Yeah, true, I'll run out of how I does, but I can always buy more if I need to. Right, so I'm just going to place it, like, over here. It doesn't need to be too far away. So that's where the piping goes, and let's see how long until it's full now. So two hours, and that's going to be 2,250 of uh, the things of silver. It's actually, one thing I actually read in the patch notes we forgot to test, and that was the vehicles now have a first person mode view. I will need to switch to it though, I have no idea how. It's not through this menu. Maybe it's just in VR? I know it's in the control option somewhere. Uh, flight controls, no. Vehicle. Switch weapon modes, no. Okay. Maybe it is just for... Um, just for a thing, just for, um, you know, the, um, the VR, I'm sorry. I'm a little bit, you know, it's just out of it today. Yes, we are wrecking down trees, it's more than fine. Let's see if our doors are still there, because for some reason our doors seem to be missing, so. I don't need to park it where it was, I could just park it here. Well, our doors are still there, so there, that, there's that. I should buy some metal plating. We're going to need a little bit more of it. But, by the looks of things, nothing else has actually come back. So the doors are still missing. Metal plating, where is it? There it is. How much am I going to need? I'm going to buy 20. And today we're going to be experimenting with the nutrient paste dispensers. Now, the thing is, though, I did check out the materials for them really quickly. We are going to need polyfiber. Now, how much, though? I keep forgetting. Should be under specialist farming. We need two polyfibers. So what that means is that I need to see exactly what materials we need for polyfiber. Probably should have done this off camera, but we need star bulbs and cactus flesh. We have cactus flesh. We need star bulbs. Now, I have the storm should have everything planted if I'm not wrong. Hopefully I'm not, even though that is entirely possible that I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure we cannot go to that base through here. Yeah, we cannot. So I'm actually going to need to summon our ship, go back to the Nexus, and... Oh, never mind. Oh yeah, and all the navigation data is actually on the ship. Okay, I'm just going to go to the ship. It's going to be a lot simpler. And we're going to need to go back to the Eye of the Storm, if it's even still there, because as you saw, a lot of things vanished from the space, so it is entirely possible that th that entire base just vanished. Yeah. Still, so, what's... Why is there, like, no first-person mode? Hmm, there should be. I read it in the patch notes. Maybe it really is just for VR. It's entirely possible. All right, let's go back in space. Uh, launch? A launch? Yeah, even though we do have silver over there, this is a far more efficient method of actually gaining certain resources. Just because I can get them in the thousands, even if not, you know, more than thousand. And on top of that, I can... I don't need to power it. I don't need to actually use carbon. So I know there's been a lot of complaints that base power is sort of a nerf to the base building, and it is, sort of is. 
I mean, it adds an extra layer of complexity when it comes to building your base. You're gonna need either solar panels or biofuel, which biofuel I'm sort of leaning towards not. Just because it seems kind of expensive. I am still on uh, no multiplayer, by the way, until, uh, until it's fixed, until the bugs are fixed. So I'm gonna be on lack of multiplayer uh, for at least a couple of more days. And hopefully by then everything will be fine, it will be fixed. And I'm still not talking to these people, I'm gonna wait a couple more days as well, a couple more episodes, and then we'll talk to everybody again because from what I'm uh, told they do have um, different uh, things that you can do with them. So one of them is apparently a cook, which we will actually, you know, uh, go to today. So let's go to the Eye of the Storm, and hopefully this will not crash the game. I should have actually done this in between episodes. I was uh, gonna initially do it, but I was like, mm, no. If it's gonna crash something, it's gonna crash, so it's not a big deal, you know. Crashes happen all the time, and I am prepared this time, actually, for the crash. If it does happen. Hopefully, though, everything's gonna be stable and the base is gonna be there, because it is entirely possible that the base is just not there at all. And do keep in mind, the base teleporter is not gonna be powered as well, so... There's that. So I'm gonna probably need to build solar panels. Probably more than a single solar panel. And yeah, this crashed the game, didn't it? Yep, this crashed the game. Well, again, I said I was prepared for this, so starting up the game now. That is my, uh, I was actually supposed to build a thumbnail for this, uh, where it says intermission, but, uh, I haven't had the time on all, in all honesty, and uh, yeah, there's that. So we're just gonna run through the game really quickly. Yes, I am playing on the Steam, if you're ever wondering. I'm playing most of the things on Steam. And yes, the main menu is actually kind of loud for some unknown reason. I am sorry for destroying your ears and auditory senses, but everything should be fine. Now, the game loads kind of quickly. It is... Not on my SSD. Well, actually, I don't even have an SSD. I have an M.2, which is uh, technically you can call it an SSD, I guess. It's still fast. Uh, but it is not on my M2. Uh, because I just, I record on my M2. I don't actually play the games on my M2. It's fine, though. The hard disk I bought is one of the fastest you can buy in the market, so. So it's fine. It's, it's still a hard disk. It's still a hard disk. I do want to get an extra SSD. All right, so this is where we are. Shall we try again? Probably not. The problem is we do not have cactus flesh, so this means I'm going to have to find it. Now, um, before we go there, there, there is something we need to talk about. So the Nexus, there are patch notes in which it actually states that these missions will, as I suspected, will be a part of the community events. So I'm not entirely sure if this is going to be permanent, but there will be missions that actually give you Quicksilver. So you can actually just buy whatever you want with Quicksilver. I guess we won't try again because it's going to crash the game again. Um, I knew this was going to happen. The base does tend to crash games. It is not a hardware issue. It is a game issue. So what we're going to do is actually I just should have left with my ship. You know what? I can go somewhere else and hopefully we will find Cactus Flash. So this is where I built the base. Yeah, this is where I built the um, yeah, thing. Underwater world. You know what? We haven't been there. You know what? Let's go there. I don't even remember what there is there in the underwater world. I don't recall ever building that, in all honesty. Hopefully it doesn't crash the game. It is entirely possible that it does. I have no idea where we're going, even though I possibly built it. So, yeah, there's that. Oh! Right, 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 right. I built this for uh, these atmospheric harvesters for so they can actually get nitrogen. Oh, now I remember this. It says underwater base, but there is actually no underwater here. But it doesn't matter. I'm actually going to go into space. All that matters is that I just got my ship. And why to space? I'm looking for cactus flash. Lots and lots of cactus flash. Not cactus, star bulb, sorry. Frost crystals? No, I should have actually known that it was going to be frost crystals. What is this planet? 
And star bulbs. Okay, so I'm actually gonna need to find some land, but by the looks of things, there's a lot of islands and not a lot of land. So let's go on the other side of the planet and hopefully we'll find more land over there. So I need what, like 400? Yeah, there is more land over here. So I'm gonna land over there somewhere. Yep, over here should be fine. Just straight up land. And uh, speaking of which, a new update for those of you that did like the modded series, the modded series will be back soon. I can't really divulge a date. The, um, the Red Mask, the developer of the mods that I am using, did say that he worked overnight, which is uh, a good thing for me. But it does mean that he did he did work overnight. I'm gonna get that. I'm already here. It does mean he worked, uh, you know, a little bit too much. Uh, but you know what? He does love the mods, and so do we as a community. Because let's face it, the mods are great. But modded series will be back. We will exp impulse beans. Now this, is, these are the new plants I was talking about. Let's go check that one out. I should probably get the bugger or something out, but yeah, it's, I think it's fine to walk for now. Even though there are a couple of words there. Oh, this is annoying me. It's like I, I can't like just just leave things be. All right, let me quickly uh, get the exocraft terminal. I really need to get to upgrade the buggy. I do like using the buggy more than the Colossus. Yep, actually get in the buggy. Uh, so what was I talking about? A modded series, yeah, it'll be back soon. Uh, first we're gonna explore a little bit. Oh, something happened there. I don't know what, but something happened. Hopefully it doesn't affect the video. So these are, um, these are new materials which we can actually use for, um, you know, thingy. Um, alright, I, I just, I see what hap what's happening now. I'm gonna have to actually check the video afterwards to see if it has any issues with the recording because nobody has actually mentioned it. Hopefully everything is fine though. I think it's because of these. Because of the effects. Yeah. Yeah, it's stuttering a little bit for some reason. Oh well. Alright, so uh, I took the words. I do need star bulbs, so let's quickly find star bulbs somewhere. Somewhere. So these plants are our food, which we can actually process. I should probably pick them up, but I'm more interested currently in star bulbs. I mean, I mean it's close. I can't say no to that. It's like so close, look at it. It's only a second away. Okay, the game's acting weird today for some reason, but that's that's fine. Right, so is it like there was a way to increase the up oh, right that's the way right. Right, it was R and T because now you don't actually increase the bubble size with the scroll, you do it with Num with R and T, so it's a little bit uh, confusing. Let's see. Let me quickly just check. Yeah, it is gonna start. The video is gonna start a little bit for some reason. It seems to be an encoding issue. It the recording program, the recording software is warning me about this for some reason. Huh? Weird. No, no, go away. I think it's the planet in general. Is oh wow, you can actually destroy everything with the buggy now. That's cool. Yeah, look at that. There was a stutter, wasn't there? Yep, mm-hmm. Alright, very quickly. You know what? We're just gonna leave the planet. That's fine. I will not reduce my video quality just because of that. So, I think it's the planet. I'm pretty sure this is the first time I'm noticing this. I would have noticed it before, even though that is unlikely. Let's see. Okay, let's go. And let's go away from this planet. We're actually just gonna leave the system. We're gonna go somewhere else. You see, absolutely no issue now, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a planet. There was just something wrong there. Some some particle effect or something that just annoyed OBS for some very weird reason. Yeah, we have discovered all these. We're actually gonna go somewhere else, right? 
Like, uh, does it matter where? I mean, it needs to have a couple of planets because... Oh, there's just nothing here. There's just nothing here. Uh, because we do want to find star bulbs. And when we do, we're actually gonna, you know... Finally get to experiment with the neutrino paste dispenser. Finally, because this was the, supposed to be the whole point of the episode, but I actually thought that I had star bulbs somewhere. And apparently I do not. We are going to be landing at space stations because we currently do need space stations to be uh, able to teleport to. Uh, that, and we are still looking for modules, surprisingly. We are looking for these cyclotron modules for the ship, and we are looking for um, movement module. A single movement module, one shield module and life support modules if we do find them for the character. Oh, this is very red. Let's actually test this out. All right, yeah, we know. Purchase upgrade modules, that's good. Talks, we do have all the protection ones, so we don't need them, but they do not have anything else we need. Let's look for the ship parts. Oh, that's the buggy parts. I mean, I should still probably look at them, but I'm not going to do it yet. Uh, it's really annoying me that I cannot skip the text. Just really annoying. I actually looked at the controls. Uh, actually looked at all of the controls. There's a Cyclotron module. And I couldn't find a single control that um, actually would allow me to skip the text. So... Uh, sort of, sort of annoying. All right, let's scan for star bulbs. There they are. So that's the first planet we see. It appears to be a water world again. Hmm, I'm seeing a common pattern here. Let's see if the game is gonna stutter again. This should not be water. I'm pretty sure I aimed at land, so... We should be fine. Okay, now let's look at... Now let's look for star bulbs. Okay, where are you, star bulbs? I mean, the scan should reveal... Yep, nothing. Scan reveals nothing. Okay, so this planet is having the same issue. Have I actually had this issue for the past couple of episodes and nobody told me anything about this. Seriously, nobody... Uh, I'm gonna have to rewatch everything now. And see if I've had this issue, if I had to actually do something about it and nobody told me. And I don't even... I Because I'm actually talking about this and looking at another screen, uh, there was... I'm just not even looking at star bulbs. Not even trying to find any at the moment. Honestly, I shouldn't have had this issue. I guess it's because I'm actually capturing... Uh, not just the game itself, I'm actually capturing the whole display, so... it That might cause some issues with my encoder. I'll fix it though. I'll find a way to fix it. It's the first time I've noticed this though, so... Come on, star bulbs, come on. Can I use the analysis visor from here? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, there they are. There they are. And several knowledge stones. So I'm gonna probably need to redo the farm eventually. Just because of, uh, you know, the specific reason that I do not have star bulbs. Oh, come on. Afterwards, we're actually going to go back to Homeworld, so hopefully things there will be fine. Maybe it is entirely possible that it's just the water worlds or these flourishing planets. Hopefully it is. That, wow, that is big. Oh, and you can actually see predators now when you open up the analysis visor. What is that supposed to be? What are you supposed to be? And what did it say? Bloody organ. Wow. 
I know that if you kill him, you get new stuff. Scaly meat. Huh, interesting. Let me quickly get all star bulbs and we will leave. Oh my... This is just annoying me so much. I'm looking at my recording software and it, I, I can see it stuttering and it's just, it's killing me. I'm sorry about this. If you actually got to this point where you watch this, I am truly sorry. Uh, you know what? We're going to go back to home base and if it's not fixed over there, I'll just end the episode and I'll look for a fix and we'll do the neutrino paste dispenser next one. Um, let's see, I do have enough star bulbs, right? Okay, these ones we are keeping. Can I actually build enough polyfiber? No, I cannot. Ugh. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually gonna end things off here. I am sorry, but I will have to look into this problem. I'm sorry for the short episode. We basically did looked at nothing that was beyond, and I moaned for like 20 minutes. It is gonna be the shortest episode in the history of this uh, first look of beyond. Again, I am truly sorry about this. I will look into the issue right away as soon as I end this, and uh, I will go and actually get another like 50 or 100 star bulbs just so we have some. And I am sorry again. My name has been Rampant Mystic. I do hope you enjoyed this episode of No Man's Sky. And if you didn't, uh, I'm not going to repeat myself. But I do, I truly do hope to see you all in the next one where the quality will be better.